I'm good. But no video. Guys, come on. If there's no, not going to be a video, we don't need to do this. Yes, we, do. we played great. It was awesome. Everybody enjoyed it. Uh, everybody played hard. We moved the ball. We had more assists than them. We had less turnovers than them. Everything was great. All right, Jim Ozarski. Hey, Giannis. Uh, third quarter, they pulled within one. Uh, you and Drew really kind of, I don't know if it was intentional, but two-man game, I think scored 15 of the next 20 points and put it away. What what clicked for you and, and Drew in that key game moment there in the third quarter? Uh, we just tried to play hard. Um, you know, they came back to the game, and uh, we just tried to move the ball uh, and be aggressive, and Drew told me to be aggressive. And, uh, you know, Drew was... Uh, he, I think he had like five quick points, and then he drew a lot of attention. So I had the opportunity to go downhill, go in the middle of the paint, and just uh, you know do what I do. I know uh, earlier in the year, I, I forget where which game it was where you, you passed it and made a move up the franchise leaderboards. You did that tonight again, number two all time in scoring. I, I, I know that uh, it's not a focus, but you know, the crowd here. Acknowledged it. Um, again, what, what might that mean, I guess, as you continue to do such things for the Milwaukee Bucks? Oh, that's why they were cheering today? Yes, yes. That's why they were cheering. Damn, I, ju I just realized that. So, so it, it's, it's a great compliment. I gotta keep working hard. It's a, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. So, I gotta keep working hard and uh, keep believing in myself, um, keep polishing my, my skills. Um, keep having great teammates that allow me to be great and great coaching staff, and um, it's good. It's just a lot of uh, hard work that paid off, but uh, gotta keep moving forward. Eric, name? Hey, um, listen, um, into these two games, uh, as someone who covers the game, I, you know, I was excited. You know, Buck Sixers, top of the East, and then all of a sudden you hear Joel's a late scratch today. For me, it was disappointing, you know, not to get to see you guys go up against each other again. What does it feel like for you, like when you hear 20 minutes before a game, like, hey, Joel's not playing? Um, I, I, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I want to play against the best. I want to go against the best. I, I love the challenge. You know, I, I love to work hard every, each game and uh, help my team get a win against the best. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm, Joel, I don't know what the issue was. Um, you know, our team was ready to go, uh, but at the end of the day, you gotta, he got to do whatever is best for his body. And if uh, taking one game uh, was best for his body, you know, that's the decision they made. Uh, but we were, we were ready to play against him or um, against this team without him. So yeah, we were ready to go. Bud was talking about how against zone. You guys have been a little bit inconsistent. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. What do you see against zones when you're when you're on the offensive end? Because it feels like you guys have seen a bunch of them in the last month or so. Yeah, you know a lot of people play zone against us, but uh, as long as we get to the right spots and we move the ball and we get in the heart of the paint, we can be effective. Uh, but if we, you know, don't work as hard, not set good screens, just go with like slow pace, we cannot be effective. We're going to be consistent. So, so we got to keep working on it. Uh, and I, th I think it's good that we see it a lot uh, the last month because uh, if we see it moving forward, we can be better at it. You know, because like once you play the whole, most of the regular season man to man, and now all of a sudden the team plays zone, it's kind of like, it's like a shock. So it's good that we see it now. It's a great challenge for us. Steve McGargy. Philadelphia got the lead down to like one early in the third quarter, and then y'all won on a big spurt, and you were right in the middle of it. I was just wondering what kind of changed things, what sparked that they were able to put the game away the way y'all did there in the third. We just have to take care of the game, you know, uh, move the ball, be aggressive. You know, they were they were able to set the toe in the third quarter. Uh, came out really strong, made tough shots, uh, made layups, but um, we were able to keep on composure and uh, you know move the ball and get downhill and just take control of the game. Uh, you know, you they came out for th in the third quarter, they hit us first, but we were able, as I said, to take that hit and keep keep moving forward. One more to Lori Nickel. Yeah, hey, so I just wondered what stats you look at that you value, not necessarily right after the game, but when you're looking at teams or trends. For example, have you ever heard of the hustle stats or know that you guys have six of you guys? that are among the leaders of these categories of these hustle stats? 
Uh, Lori, can you please explain to me what is a Hasselstadt? Well, for example, Brooke Lopez leads everybody in contested twos and contested overall shots. And then Drew Holiday and you, um, loose ball, you know, collecting how many average per game. Um, there's other stuff like blockouts. Thanasis has some for loose ball, you know, gathering loose ball. There's six you, of you. You, 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 you got to respect it, you know. And um, the house stat is obviously not, is not in the stat sheet that we, we look. But you got to respect it, you know, and I respect everybody that comes in and give everything for the team. If that's going to take a charge or back somebody out or contest a shot, you know, get a deflection, you got to respect that, you know. And you don't see that in the stat sheet, but uh, me as a basketball player, I try to, you know, see all, see all those things. Um, I love it. I love it. If uh, Brooke is contesting a lot of shots, me and Drew, we getting on loose balls, we got... We gotta set the tone for the rest of the team, and uh, we need all those hustle stats. Thank you. Thank you, Larry.